tweaker today. Has two points and got his 800th win. What is the legacy of Coach K, though? I believe he's one of the greatest coaches. Connor, what do you think? Coach K is by far one of the best coaches in NCAA basketball history. However, he's gotten good teams every single year, and that might be a reason why he has 800 wins. Another reason, though, he recruited those players. He got those players to commit to Duke. I mean, you got the Christian Leitners, the Grant Hills, Demarcus Nelson, J.J. Redick. I mean, come on. He recruited those guys, turned, molded them into great college players. So, I believe he's a great coach. You obviously just think he got lucky. Oh, he's teams. definitely a great coach, but he got good teams to help him out. Now let's move on to what's going to happen in a couple of weeks. Who will be dancing their way to the Final Four in March? I say Memphis, UNC, Louisville, and Duke. Okay, I say Duke, Tennessee, Kansas, and UCLA. But, and then another big game that could determine future standings in the tourney, Duke will play UNC coming up. Who do you like in this game? I like UNC. I think Hansborough is just a powerhouse under the basket with rebounding and the big points when, when it matters. And I just think UNC will come up with big. See, I think Duke's great shooting will get them by UNC, and I feel like Coach K will come up with a way to stop Tyler Hansborough. He put up 40 points, and Duke still won. I mean, this guy has to do completely everything for UNC to win, and I don't see that happening. Duke, especially with Ty Lawson now, the big point guard who runs the show. So I don't know how you see them winning this game. Explain Duke's, to me. Duke's outside shooting has to be on. If it's not on, they're not winning. It's as clear as that. Outside shooting, they got unbelievable Three shooters. Points, I think they got a bunch of shooters. They did it once off. They're not on. Okay, all of them have to be off then. You know what I'm saying? And they also have slashers. Rebounding, UNC. Ben Zubek, seven footer. I mean, really. How can you see them? I don't see the I don't see this, but whatever, we'll move on. A national champion, who do you like? I like Memphis. They're just fast paced team. I think they could beat most teams down the court, fast break. I think Memphis, definitely. I think Memphis is a good team. Chris Doug did Chris Douglas Roberts and Derek Rose are great players, maybe national player of the year awards, but I still like UCLA. Ben Allen just gets his players ready for every single game, and he'll just carry them through the tourney. You got Jason Collison, who runs the show at point guard. I mean, you can't ask for better players. What can they keep up with the fast-paced, fast break? I think they'll slow them down. I think they will slow down Memphis completely. Do you think, that, do you think they'll press or anything? Yeah, I think, no, 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 no. They won't press. They'll drop back, force Memphis to have to shoot free throws. Memphis is yeah, big weakness. Terrible. That's why they lost to Tennessee. They couldn't terrible. hit their free throws down the stretch. And that'll wrap up the college basketball section. Next, we're going to go on to hockey. Yes, I did say hockey.